Cena has revolutionized rider-to-rider -rider communications with Mesh 2.0 and OpenMesh in their new line of headset communicators. But what about those of you that have an older Bluetooth headset? Is there a way for you to join in on this Mesh 2.0 revolution? If you have an older Bluetooth communicator that doesn't have Mesh 2.0 built into it, Cena claims you're now able to participate in a Mesh intercom network through the use of the Cena Plus Mesh device. It acts like a bridge between your Bluetooth communicator and a Mesh network. The Plus Mesh comes with everything you see here. A USB charging cable and a universal mounting system really designed for standard round handlebars. They didn't work too well with the Honda Goldwing handlebars, but the unit is small enough you can rig up away with Velcro or some other system to mount it to the handlebar area. In our tests, you can see here how Don Smith was able to mount the Plus Mesh using his cell phone holder on his 2018 Goldwing. The Plus Mesh charges through this micro USB port, which is covered by a weatherproof seal. I would have preferred a USB-C charging port, but this one works fine. My only issue is the cable that's provided with the unit is at a 90 degree angle and it kind of makes it difficult to get into the charging port, as you can see here. Cena claims you can fully charge the unit in two hours and it provides up to 13 hours of ride time. Cena claims you can connect any Cena headset to a mesh intercom network using the Plus Mesh device. Before pairing any of our headsets to the Plus Mesh, we were required to update the firmware, which also required updating the Cena Bluetooth Device Manager to version 403. Once you do that, you can update the Plus Mesh firmware to version 2.0. Multiple attempts to pair my Cardo Pack Talk Bold with the Plus Mesh proved unsuccessful. So for now, only Cena brand headsets can take advantage of Mesh 2.0 and Open Mesh. We had no trouble pairing Don's 10C Evo and his 20S to the Plus Mesh. And pairing is very simple and quick. Just a press of the button here, once it's paired with my uh, 20S, takes it out of Mesh Intercom. Mesh Intercom off. And can put it right back into Mesh Intercom. Mesh Intercom on. So this morning I am with Don Smith again from Texas2Lane.com. And we are testing out the Plus Mesh device from Cena, and uh, he is using his uh, Cena 20S, I believe, and he has it paired to the Plus Mesh, and I'm on my 50R, which has Mesh 2.0 and Open Mesh. And Don, can you hear me? I can hear you just fine, Cruise Man. Okay. Uh, we tested this out yesterday, and I was coming through the audio a little distorted. And it turns out, I think, I was just talking too loud or I had the microphone too close to my mouth. And uh, we're also going to be testing out the range today to see how far away this plus mesh uh, can actually reach. But about the plus mesh, uh, it's, it is great. Uh, because there's a built-in um, infrastructure uh, of uh, devices capable of uh, Mesh 2.0, but also a number of devices which are not. And that's where the Plus Mesh comes in. And so we're using Plus Mesh so that my 20S, which is not capable of Mesh 2.0 or Mesh of any style, can talk to you on open mesh and here we are riding side by side and uh, once I have the uh, plus mesh paired with the 20s 
and you're on open mesh, we converse like we're both on open mesh. And it's uh, very seamless because all you had to do was pair your 20S to the uh, plus mesh, and as soon as we turned on our headsets, we were connected. There was no pairing required between our headsets. So Don and I are going to pull over up here, and we're going to test the range of this uh, plus mesh. I think we were able to get about a half a mile with the Cena S, Cena on Cena, Cena 50S, and Cena 50R. And we're going to find out what the uh, range is on this plus mesh. So Don and I are going to pull into the Chevron station, and we're going to test the range. But before I head out, I'm going to uh, let everybody know that I just added this plus mesh to my Amazon page, anybody that's interested in it, and uh, you can get it on Amazon for 109 bucks, pretty cheap, much cheaper than going out and having to buy a brand new 50S or 50R. For those of you that have a 20 or 20S or 20S Evo, or even a 10C, we tested it this morning with Don's 10C. Uh, and it worked fine. It paired up and we were able to hear each other talk. So I just wanted to let everybody know that if you're interested in that, that's a good way to go. So I am going to get back out here on Josie Lane and I will reset my trip meter. Okay, I'm set to zero. So Don, I'm going to get back out on the road and we will see just how far away we can hear each other. I'm just going to ask you to ramble on aimlessly and say whatever you want to say and when I stop hearing you I'll know okay I'm gonna get up here in the corner for maximum antenna range since you'll be going at westbound which is to my right Correct. and uh, I see you uh, there you go you're gonna pass right in front of me now there's the cruise man out on another adventure. Look, up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a, well, no, it's a motorcycle rider. The lady next to me thought I was waving at her, so she waved back at me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to, I think we need to make a bet on this. I'm going to say a quarter of a mile. Oh, uh, two blocks, I'm going to lose you. Are you? Okay. You think by this next light up here, I'll be out of range? Yeah, because that's a half a mile, isn't it? Okay, keep talking. I'm going to keep talking. I mean, I used to be a rock and roll disc jockey in the 60s. It's not like I don't know how to talk. But there goes the cruise man as he uh, travels westbound, of course, toward his home. That's away from my home, so I have a further range to get back, and doggone, I just have to ride my motorcycle a little more. Oh, rats. Oh, darn. <laughs> Can you hear me, Cruise Man? I think Cruise Man has already lost me. It's pretty clear that the Cena Plus Mesh does what Cena claims it will do. It will allow you to connect your non-mesh headset with a mesh intercom environment. And it works very well and the communications are extremely clear, just like with a mesh headset. Now we did get limited range of about a quarter of a mile in town, but I'm sure under better conditions on the open road you could get that half a mile that Cena claims. And for about 110 bucks, it's a real bargain. While Cena did not sponsor this video, I would like to thank them for sending me the Plus Mesh to test and review. I'd also like to thank Don Smith from Texas Tulane for helping me with the test. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.